Hello everybody, this is Tech Hut. This is going to be a little bit different. What I'm going to be doing is a Caden Live specific tutorial. Caden Live is a free and open source of video editor and it's the video editor that I use on a uh, daily basis. And a couple of you guys were asking how I do that uh, circular picture in picture effect in uh, quite a few of my videos. I use that effect quite a bit. And it's actually fairly simple. It's just two of the effects within Caden Live, the alpha shapes and the uh, transition. Well, not transition, the transformation effect. Uh, if you're curious about specifically what I'm talking about, it is this, this little circular window and window thing. So you can see me talking and it looks pretty good because it's a circle instead of a square. So it just adds some dimension and character and everybody uses squares. So I think that this is a little bit better. Uh, the only negative with this effect, depending on your computer's processing power, it is very intensive to actually process. And a lot of my videos are edited in uh, 2K, so a 1440p, and playback is often very laggy when I do choose to do this effect. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop the A-roll recording here, because I'm actually going to use this footage you're watching right now to make this tutorial. Uh, so let's dive on in. All right, so we are in Caden Live right now with the little bit of footage I just recorded. Now, before we get started, I'm gonna talk about the things I've done so far. So far, I've just brought the clips in, synced up the audio so everything looks right. The only effect I applied thus far was a color temperature change so I don't look so white. <laughs> and uh, I cut out where I say where I want the effect to be, what you'll see, or you've already seen, it goes like this. So when I say this, I want the effect to appear which is me smaller in a rounded window with my desktop in the background. And doing this is very easy. What we're gonna do is go over here to our effects or effects tab, uh, get rid of this, and we're gonna go down to transform distort right here. And the first thing is just to transform this. Now we're gonna use the transform for the positioning and the size of the actual uh, video file here. So right here under our transform effect, we're first gonna want to kind of position it where we're gonna want to be. So I usually like to stay centered about that big or so uh, because of the amount of space I gave myself here. I might have to go a little bit smaller. So about there. And then I can use the X axis to go ahead and move it on over like so. So I'm gonna try to get that positioned so I am fairly centered like that. So now that we have this here, we're gonna to want to actually apply the shape. And to do that, I'm gonna go over back to my effects tab and just search for shape. And right here we have alpha shapes. This is the one you're gonna to want to use. Just go ahead and drag and drop that onto the clip that you're gonna to want to apply the effect to. And then over here you see I have this square right here and it's just black. So the first thing I'm gonna do before I start playing with this too much is go ahead and change the position so it is centered on my face. I'm just doing that by moving over the X axis, just like I did with the uh, first transform effect. So when it's fairly centered, now what I'm gonna to want to do is change the shape. Now under shapes, we have a couple different options here. We have the rectangle, ellipses, triangle, and diamond. You could go with any of these and you could use this effect to give yourself a lot of different results. But for the purpose of this video, we're gonna go with the ellipses. So you can see we're starting to get that circle effect here. And then instead of moving the position, because the position is going to move the actual effect around, we want to change the size. And to get a perfect circle, it's kind of difficult. Uh, one tip, I'm not really gonna do it right now, I'm just gonna kind of wing it. But if you want to make sure your circle is perfect, you could download a circle PNG from the internet and really make sure but first we're gonna lower our transition. The transition is this kind of blur effect right here. Uh, if you go completely to zero, it might look a little pixelated along the edges. So I like to stick somewhere between five and 10, and that gives it just enough where it doesn't look pixelated. Now size right here is where we're gonna actually dictate, well, the size of our shape. So first we're gonna go with the X axis or size X here, and I'm gonna make it a little bit wider, get the effect I want or get the perfect size I want. And then from here, I can kind of reposition X a little bit just so it's centered a little bit better. So we're gonna go ahead and bring it, if I can get it right about there. So I'm close to the edge and I kind of have a larger gap in the middle, so it kind of all matches up. 
Now, size Y, so we could go ahead and bring this up to right about a perfect circle, which looks about there to me. Now from here, if you're not really perfect, but your positioning of your shape is perfect, which for me it isn't, let's go, we're gonna have to put the number in manually here. So 46, perfect. And now if your shape is perfect, but the actual footage within the shape is not, you can always head back over to your uh, transform effect here and then change the sizing, positioning, and everything within this. So I wanna make sure obviously the, uh, I'm taking up the full window so there's no black edges. One other tip, if you do plan on doing this, I didn't really do it well for this example, but if you give yourself more room up above your head and below, it's generally a good move because then it won't be as uh, restricting on the positioning that you could put yourself in this circle. So you can either use these handles or go ahead and move it around with the uh, dials down here. So let's make this just a little bit larger. There we go. So that right there is looking about perfect for me. And that's really all there is to it. So now you can see that that is applied to this entire effect here. If I go ahead and hit play, it'll be a little choppy, but you can see it go. Specifically what I'm talking about, it is this. And you see how it gets a little laggy there. It is a, a strenuous process on your uh, processor, but that is really about it. I do hope you enjoyed this pretty quick uh, Caden live tutorial on how to get the circle effect. One other tip before we go ahead and leave so you don't have to make the perfect circle every single time would be to create this as a preset. So to do that next to your eye here so you could disable the effect. Next to that, you're gonna have presets and you're gonna to want to save this as a preset. And then from here, you could go ahead and name this whatever you'd like, window. And then I will say it's the R-M for right middle and hit okay. And now that is saved in our presets. So we, I can easily get this shape exactly like this in the future. So I do hope you enjoyed this. Please comment, rate, and subscribe if you do enjoy Caden Live tutorials. Please let me know. I've been using it for quite a while, so I'm pretty experienced in it, and I know a lot of different tips and tricks. So if you did like this, please let me know. Make sure you're subscribed and you ring that bell so you do not miss any future uploads. I hope you all have a beautiful day, and goodbye.